Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to you again, another GJ5 Line video here on my channel. I'm Corey is Crazy. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what happens when you complete Act 1, Act 2, and Act 3 of the Doomsday Heist update. Now, of course, you do remember when we had the heist last time, which is a couple of years ago, when you complete them, you unlock some vehicles, but nothing really changes inside your apartment. Well, in the facility, something actually changes. Now as you can see this change room was here once you actually buy the facility and at the end of all the heists if you're a leader basically this will fill up with different outfits of all the heists that you did which is pretty cool but you can't really use them. Now in Act 1 you have to help the IAA get back their facility basically from the enemies and you're awarded with this little plaque on your information desk saying IAA on it which is pretty cool showing you everyone that you completed Act 1 but this is where it gets a little bit more cool. So in Act 2 you have to stop this submarine but things change. As you can see we have this underwater submarine bomb. Basically if submarines crash into it, blows up, kills them. But that's not all because over on the other side we have this glass cabinet and inside there is a small replica of the submarine that you used in Act 2 which you walked through it. And I recommend right now that if you ever get to this mission Basically, don't be the guys in the sky, be the people that go actually inside of it because you get some awesome cutscenes and you get to know a lot more about the actual heist finale. So that was Act 1 and Act 2 of what they gave us, but in Act 3, this is where they drop the bomb of all the cool awards that you get. So, if you go to the lounge area of your facility and go over to where the computer desk is, you're going to see two little monuments which is a jetpack and a missile which is pretty awesome because I like to have a little small little jetpack in my area and this award next to it basically is a orbital cannon and the way you get this is by killing someone with the orbital cannon you get a small little award and the reason why I said this is the bomb of achievements or trophies basically if you remember down by the orbital cannon room there's this massive gap next to it which is a lot of people thought this is where the actual jetpack is going to sit in your game and maybe go up for a little hatch. Well, no. Instead, they've put you a massive trophy inside of here. And as you can see when we go around the corner, it's this giant eagle on top of the earth. And the best thing is there's no barriers around here. You can walk all the way around it, go up the little steps of it and take your Snapmatics or your Rockstar Editor. And here's the funny thing is, so this is a small version of it. There is a gigantic large version of it in the middle of the city next to the IAA and the FIB building. So in a second I'm actually going to skip over and show you where this actual thing is. So if you want to take a picture of this one or if you want to take a picture of a massive one in the actual middle of the city then I do recommend going and having a look at it because it's pretty awesome. And also I do want to say another thing, if anyone wants to know what the vehicle is I'm driving in this next clip, it's basically called the Modded Mesa from GJ5 on the Xbox 360 over to Xbox One. So this is the location that you want to go to on the map and this is where you're going to find the giant eagle on top of the earth. So as you can see this is my modern Mesa and what you want to do is you want to just head down these stairs where I'm going right now. Hopefully you don't crash into the actual bollard like I almost did and as you can see just in the distance this is where it is and it's actually a water feature in the middle. So it's pretty cool that they added one of these inside our facility too bad that for the old heist they didn't actually add anything inside our apartments which really I thought they could have done maybe like a small little version of an EMP maybe a little bank vault or a little model of a Hydra but nothing like that only in a facility for the Doomsday Heist update they added pretty cool little things into it so what do you think of this update do you think the awards are pretty awesome don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more of the GJ5 online videos I upload on this channel don't forget to comment your likes and let me know what you guys think and I shall see you guys in my next GJ5 online video goodbye